For a weekly overview of the state's COVID-19 cases, 25 News reporter Sydney Eisenberg joins us now live from the tracker desk tonight. Sydney. Todd, now before we get to those cases, a federal moratorium on evictions expired last week, leaving many here in Texas and across the country worried if they will have a roof over their head as the month comes to an end. Now, under the CARES Act, landlords were unable to take new eviction actions against renters. However, that protection expired on July 24th. Evictions are already resuming in parts of Texas, while other renters are concerned about making rent payments, which are due tomorrow. There are 42... 420,000 COVID-19 cases in Texas, an estimated 141,000 are active, while roughly 273 have recovered. 6,500 Texans have died from the virus, with 295 deaths reported just today. Closer to home, there were 4,300 total COVID-19 cases in McLennan County. Bell County officials report 3,300, while the state, which includes Fort Hood in its count, reports 3,400. Brazos County has 3,800 total cases. In the surrounding counties, Milam has 306 cases, Robertson has 217, and Lampasas has 175. Bell County has seen the largest case count jump this week with 354 new cases since Monday. McLennan County reported 284 new cases this week, followed by Brazos County with 130. Central Texas as a whole has seen 955 new cases since Monday. Now, breaking the numbers down, roughly 1,800 cases are active in McLennan with 2,400 recoveries. Bell County has 1,400 actives and 1,800 recoveries. Brazos County reports 564 active cases. 3,200 people have recovered. Now, in other big news, Dr. Anthony Fauci testified in front of Congress today on the federal government's response to COVID-19. Coming up at 6.30, we will have what he said about a vaccine and just how quickly we could see one. Live from the coronavirus tracker desk, Sydney Eisenberg, 25 News.